What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the file size for Modern Warfare 2, which is surprisingly low, and I think a lot of us are happy to hear this. No matter if you have a new gen uh, console, an old gen console, your own PC, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Call of Duty games take up a lot of space, and over the last few years, most of us have kind of come to expect 100 to 200 gigs of storage needed to play Call of Duty, which is a bit outrageous. Now, these file sizes are for PlayStation, so keep that in mind. This did get revealed yesterday. Now, of course, if you did pre-order the game, you can play that early access of the campaign starting today. And then, of course, multiplayer does release next week on the 28th of October. Let's go ahead and talk about these file sizes. You're looking at a base game size. Like I said, this is for PlayStation. Hopefully, it's not going to vary too much for Xbox and PC. The base game, which is version 1.02, is 35.49. Then you're going to have... A, a campaign pack one and two, which will each be 8.1 gigs and 8.6 gigs a piece. So you're looking at about 16.7 gigs of campaign uh, kind, of, kind of packs or, you know, the amount of things you'll have to download. Then co-op is 2.619 gigs. Multiplayer is 4.959 gigs. And then you're looking at Warzone 2 as of right now being 2.5 gigs. So in total, not a whole lot. Uh, when you actually go in to preload the game, which you can uh, right now, like I said, if you have pre-ordered it, I went ahead and preloaded yesterday. going to try the campaign out uh, at some point today or the next couple days. And you can decide exactly what you want to download. You know, it gives you the option for the base game, campaign pack one and two, Warzone two, co-op and multiplayer. You can pick and choose what you want to download there. You don't have to download everything. It gives you the option, at least on PlayStation. I'm assuming it's going to be the same on Xbox and PC, where you can actually choose what you want to be downloaded. So if you decide, hey, I'm going to play multiplayer, I'm going to play Warzone 2, you can just download those things. Uh, so you can still save a little bit of space because, as we all know, this file size probably is going to grow a good bit when it comes to updates and things coming out in the near future. But right now, the file size is nowhere near what it was for some previous uh, Call of Duty games over the last few years. Hopefully, the game won't grow to that size of, you know, 100 plus gigs um, and where you're having to download huge files all the time. I'm hoping that over the last couple of years, a lot of these companies have started to figure out ways to make these game sizes smaller for all platforms, no matter what you play on. But that kind of looks like the direction Infinity Ward and Activision are going with Modern Warfare 2. And hopefully it will kind of stay that way uh, as the game moves forward over the next year or so. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.